Hi there, it's me again. This time I'm presenting a modified Bedini. After my first video, in addition to many positive feedbacks, I also attracted some lightnings from the sharks and the dinosaurs of the virtual world because I said I used the word over unity. Like Galileo, even if you condemn me to that, I still insist it is still over unity. Because my definition of over unity ratio is output energy divided by the paid input energy. Here I am utilizing solar energy to charge my batteries, wind energy to support the Bedini wheel rotation, and gravitational energy with the flyback effect, and obviously the magnetic energy of the Bedini coils. All unpaid. My paid energy is minimal. Thus, it is over unity in my definition. This huge Bedini wheel with a diameter of 2 meters has many small sails made of cloth. It's like a sailboat with many sails. So the wind, bidirectional, north or south, doesn't matter, helps and eases the rotation of the magnet pushed wheel. The perimeter of the wheel contains evenly placed 32 heavy neomagnets which in addition to magnet push contributes as gravitational energy due to heavy weight on the circumference, hence the flyback effect. The real modification is within the electronic circuit itself. Please see the circuit here. This is the overall circuit diagram. Top left is the Bedini and MOSFETs. Bottom left the infrared transmitter and receiver and timing disk. Top right battery transfer circuit and bottom right is the speed control. Now let's look at the Bedini part more closely and see the differences from classic Bedini. I'm using power MOSFETs instead of transistors. This is the first difference. Bedini coils, four of them, two each in series, made from 100 meters of 0.6 millimeter coil wire with a minimum DC resistance of 4 ohms wound in bifilier form on an iron core. So the two pairs of serially connected wires from the two 8, ohm lo lo 8 ohms loads the MOSFETs. You may have already noticed that there is no field trigger winding. That's another difference. I do not have a field trigger winding because MOSFETs require at least 4 volts in the gate Unlike the transistor, where 0.7 volt is enough, instead I have two infrared diodes transmitting and receiving through the holes of a rotating timing disk, which is placed on the same axis as the big wheel. The number of holes or slots on the timing disk is equal to the number of magnets. The infrared diodes trigger the gates of the MOSFETs, when there is a hole across the IR diodes, a magnet is aligned with the coil. So the MOSFET fires to give the magnet a push. Also the positions of the two IR diodes are movable so that you can adjust for there advanced are two sets or of 24 retard. volt batteries. One set drives while the other set charges charges from the 90 volt, 90 plus volts back EMF spikes through the two fast diodes from the coils. The charge or drive functions of the batteries are interchanged every 10 minutes or whatever you adjust the time for. Timing and duty cycle are controllable by a 555 timer. The back EMF charging is supplemented by the solar panel charging in the sunny days. This way, the loss of charge in the batteries is minimal. 
Life of the battery is the only limitation. Let me show you the battery transfer control on my other trial system. Watch the voltmeter readings carefully during the charge and drive phases. Lastly, I have a speed control circuit which adjusts the voltage at the gates of the MOSFETs, thus reducing the level of energy discharging on the coil, so the rotational speed is changing. I also have a day-night control circuit because I want the wheel to turn faster at night. I have power LEDs connected which lighten up my garden. These power LEDs are connected in groups of three in series because each LED requires 30 volts, thus 90 volts coming from the charging bus is also stored in a large capacitor to feed the groups of three LEDs in series. So this is my modified Bedini. Thanks very much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for further updates. Questions and feedback are most welcome. But please, don't come back with there is no such thing as our unity or teach me Lavoisier's conservation of energy law which is valid for closed loop systems and non-quantum applications. May force be with you. Rest in peace, Mr. Bedini. Rest in peace, Mr. Tesla.